y'all, welcome back to the Bayou. My name's Cassandra. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming back every time over and over. Uh, hope everyone is doing good out there. We're going to do a really fun and kind of different video than what I typically do. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I love to thrift shop. I like going to all the junk stores and everything like that. And I especially like buying haunted dolls. Now, I have bought haunted dolls in the past, and we have talked to them on this channel in the past before. Okay, haunted doll, whatever. Everyone's talked to a haunted doll. And I go and I, I do look for haunted dolls. I have a lot of different dolls that are really sweet, really kind dolls. And they are allowed to sit on my shelves, and sometimes they're allowed to be out here with us and hang out, and sometimes we do talk to them. But this doll was different. This doll was not just haunted. This doll was evil. Now, how do I know? I could feel it when I walked by. This doll, I would walk by, and she has a music box in the back, and her music would go off. Just when I walked by. I had other people walking by, watching her, things like that, and she would go off when I walked by. Really, really creepy. Not only did I notice a really creepy feel about this doll, but I also had my friend, who is a psychic, get really creeped out over this doll, and she freaked out, and she told me, don't you buy that doll, don't you take that in your house, so of course, what did I do? I bought the doll, and then I started seeing commercials about the Megan the doll that's coming out, and she just, I don't know, this is going to sound crazy, and you guys probably think I'm crazy. I don't know, but I think she has kind of like a little resemblance to Megan. Just maybe in the creep factor. I don't know what it is. Uh, they're completely dressed different, everything like that. But it still creeps me out some. Anyway, so this is the doll that I'm talking about. And because of Megan the doll, I have actually named her Megan. I don't know her real name. I've never actually held a spirit box session with her. Wait, nope, that's not true. Actually, I have held one spirit box session with her. This is not the first time I've tried to record this video for you all. The last time I actually tried to record this video, because I thought this would be fun to do, is to talk to an evil doll. Not just a haunted doll, but talk to an evil doll. The last time I tried to record this video for you, everything was corrupt. So the whole everything. The entire video corrupt. My picture on it froze. Some of the sound was there. Some of the sound was not there. Couldn't hear the spirit box. So I'm talking to y'all now like this video is going to get out and I'm really hoping that this video does get out. If, I don't know, I guess if this video doesn't work then Megan's gonna have to go someplace else. But if it does work and you are seeing this, then yes, I'm still alive, so that would be good. Um, <laughs> she hasn't killed me yet. Uh, I do keep her in my room, but I do keep her kind of put away. She's not allowed to sit on the shelves with the other dolls just because she creeps me out and I don't want to walk by her all the time. And there's not a lot of things that I have that I keep locked up. I do have a scrying mirror that I kind of maybe messed up on making a little bit. So it's a little evil. Like, things kind of break when I use it, so it's like wrapped up, taped up, locked up, boxed up, everything. And no one's allowed to touch that mirror. Maybe we'll do something with that mirror in the future. I don't know. It. Uh, <laughs> last time I pulled that mirror out was like two years ago, and my laptop broke, my washing machine broke, my dishwasher broke, my dryer broke, uh, my headphones broke. What was it? I was having car problems. Everything electronic that you could think of was breaking or acting up. So kind of crazy. Now, the tonight that I've decided to do this video with my little Megan, which I think she's beautiful. I think she's a wonderful doll. She's going to be good to us tonight and try and get, let us get this video done. The lights in my house have already been acting up. So I don't think these lights will act up because they're, they're really good lights. But uh, we have a... A uh, strobe uh, rave party, I guess you could say, going on in our bathroom. And just some of the other lights are just not doing very well in our house. But I wanted to do two different things today with Megan. So the first thing is, is I want to do our regular spirit box session. And that is going to be with the typical PSB7 that you see on all the ghost shows. 
Yes, I like to use the original even though it is noisy and really loud and obnoxious. But I also saw this YouTuber, uh, I don't remember her full name, I'm so sorry, but her name is Kelsey. And she's a very big YouTuber. She was doing the Necrophonic along with the dowsing rods. Now, I have bought another pair of dowsing rods, but I have them put away. Um, the last time that I let anyone use these or they were used, I was taking a friend out to a really creepy cemetery and it actually, she ended up dropping them because they ended up burning the insides of her hands. Uh, that shouldn't happen here. There's no crazy entities in my house that I can see as of yet. So we should be doing good. So we're going to try and do the spirit box and also the necrophonic along with the dowsing rods. So yeah, let's get into talking to an evil doll. Shall we see if it works? I hope it does. I think we'll do necrophonic first. I have a hard time hearing what necrophonic is going to say, but fortunately I do have a professional who worked in the Navy for 10 years and he reviews all my spirit boxes with me and he is amazing. All he did in the Navy for 10 years was listen to radio static to see what other governments were saying about our government. So he is a professional there. And another thing, I'm going to try my best with Necrophonic not to cut or edit it. I know you guys are used to getting the full-blown spirit boxes. I don't cut and edit it, but that's really when I'm doing my spirit boxes that are for like celebrities and things because I want to show you guys that nothing's being added in, nothing's being cut out, anything like that, that you guys are getting the full experience there. So I'm going to set up the Necrophonic and we'll do the rods and we'll see if we can talk to Megan, the evil doll. Okay, well before I get to do the Necrophonic, my dog had to come say hi. Say hi, this is little Belle, this is my baby. She's my little sweetheart. She's got a bath, a bath and got all fluff today, so she's all fluffy. But gonna say goodbye to Belle. She's gonna have to leave. Get out of here. Evil spirits, go away. So this is the Necrophonic, if you guys didn't know. This is just a app on the phone and it is a very popularly used spirit box. And let's go ahead and start it. And start talking to Megan. Maybe Ethan and E, my spirit guides, can help us. Okay. Megan, when you're here, can you say hello? It just said hi. Okay, I have these dowsing rods right here, and we're going to cross them for yes, and open them up for no. You already know how to play this game, don't you? Okay. Megan, do you like that I named you Megan? You do like the name Megan? Said I do, yes. Wow. Okay, uncross them for me. Megan? Are you evil? Don't cross, don't cross, don't cross. Megan? Would you tell me the truth about everything I asked you? It just said yeah. I don't use the necrophonic much. Yes, you're going to tell me the truth? Can you open those back up? I'm kind of shaking, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to hold them still. I'm trying so hard to hold them still, but, like, I'm shaking. Ah, hold on. Like, my side is burning. You okay back there, Megan? Ow. That hurt. I don't know what. It felt like something was biting me, but nothing's biting me. Okay. Megan, was that you that just made my side? Yes. Hurt. Okay. Did you just scratch me? Are you mad at me? Yeah. Megan, are you mad at me because I don't let you sit on the shelf? Wow, that was a good yes. 
Okay, open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Megan, are you mad about doing this video? That necrophonic is creepy. What? It's creepy. It sounds creepy. It just said what? And I said it sounds creepy. Okay. Megan, would you be happy if I let you sit on the shelf with the other dolls? That's a yes. Can you open them back up, please? No? Megan, I have some little lights you can play with that are sitting right under you. Do you think you could light those up for us? No? No? You don't want to play with the lights? No? Eee, guys, I'm running out of things to ask. Okay. Megan, do you want to try the other spirit box? Will you talk to us if I try another spirit box? You will? Thank you. Can you open these up again? I'm going to move my hand up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was me, guys. That was me. I didn't mean to open them, but I did. Okay. Um, last question on here, Megan. Are you going to let us do this video? Yes, you're going to let me do this video this time. Oh, that's a hard yes. Oh, good. Okay, can you open these back up one more time? Okay. I guess that's a yes, but I don't think she's going to do that. So anyway, so we did the necrophonic. That was a little creepy. Like I said, I'm not used to using the necrophonic. And to be honest, the sound's gonna creep me out on that. I don't know. I personally like the PSB7 myself, even though it's so loud and the noise sucks, I really like the PSB7. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the PSB7 set up, and I will be right back. So, I'm staying on camera at least and recording this part. Oh, also guys, I have my little EMF meter sent right next to her. We can set this on her. She said she didn't want to light it up. Whoa, it just lit up. Whoa. Megan, can you light that up please? Megan, can you please play with these lights? You just have to use your energy, honey, and you can play with these lights. Can you do that? Okay, I'm going to set it right here. And if you want to set that off and you want to play with that toy, all you have to do is use your energy and it will set it off. And guys, again, just using regular EMF meter. So we're going to put it right there and we're going to watch it and you can play with that and everyone would like it if you played with that toy. Okay. Megan, I only want to talk to Megan. I don't want to talk to anyone else. So please, only eat and eat. Those are my guides. I know you're here. And Megan. Megan, do you like the name Megan?
boys come through and just get creepy. Okay, we're gonna let you go. Okay, guys. That's enough, I think, talking to her. I don't even know if this video is going to work, so crossing my fingers, hoping you guys saw this. Yeah, if you want to see more evil things, well, I have some evil things. I don't like to bring them out, but for you guys it would, so uh, let me know if you want to talk to evil stuff. We can maybe do the evil scrying here? I'm going to have to do it a long ways from my house, though, because, like I said, I don't want all my stuff to break. So, um, I guess we could go out to a cemetery and do a scrying session at, like, midnight or something and be all creepy and spooky and do all that fun stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope everyone is doing good. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I have some really cool stuff for you guys coming up very soon. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss all that cool stuff. And the subscribe thing, love to tell you this guys, it's for free. So please hit the subscribe button for me and y'all take care, have sweet dreams. I know I'm not going to, cause she's creeping me out. That's why I have to keep looking at her. Fortunately I can see her in the camera, but anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go guys, bye.